Good evening, all of you. Welcome, welcome to this Sarthi batch where we are going to do intensive practice together for costing, learning all the concepts thoroughly well, format concepts with special emphasis on pitfalls where you should be careful, all the concepts, and then we will take up all the problems from the material, ICS material and past exam papers, RTPs. MTP, most of it I have solved already in YouTube. I'll be sending you the link. Still very important problem of the MTPs also we will take, right? Very good evening to all of you. So this is the schedule how we are going to do. Now, uh, especially the message for all those who are having queries, ki, ma'am, how this would be helpful to CMA students also. Then let me tell you, all the concepts are same. Apart from this, there are cost accounting standards and specific topics for which separate videos, I mean, say the live classes will be taken for the CMA students, except that everywhere it is seen. Somewhere I will be telling you, like in standard costing, for CA students, you have material labor overheads. For CMA students, you have only material and labor. So frankly speaking, why to do extra right now is your choice, but I'll tell you. The base is how you study costing now, that will be your SCM in final. How you study direct taxation now for 50 marks, that's a super base for your direct taxation in final. And I hope you remember your why. Before we start, the why should be clear again and again, now and now again. You have to add that word CA, CMA in front of your name, CA Deepti Cheda here. And for that eight subjects of final, for that eight subjects of winter, for that this coaching, right? So one instruction goes right now is take printout of past four exams, question papers, RTPs, MTPs and have it on your table. That will make a difference. Along with that institute study material. And if you have opted, for this batch, you are getting the free access to the regular videos and one material is also sent to you by courier. That also you keep, okay? So we will be practicing thoroughly and there is no cut to cut that I've promised 60 hours. It should be completed, even if it takes more or less. And one best thing I'm promising, whatever may be the number of the students, whatever it is, I'm always committed to answer one-to-one -one your doubts. Whether it is from any academy's material, it is from CMA material, it is from compiler. Once cost sheet is done, you have any doubt, you are all connected with me through challengers group. So click the picture and send. Okay, right. Now, actually, the first topic to be taken is theory. When I say theory, first chapter, no. The immediate question is, ma'am, distinguish between cost reduction, cost control. This comes for six marks and maybe six to seven times. Last 21 years, I, yeah, I didn't introduce myself. My name is C.A. Ditti Cheda. I qualified in 1999, November attempt, that is in January 2020. I became chartered accountant from Nagpur, Maharashtra. That's my native place. And then married and came to Hyderabad. Since then, I have been into core teaching. So regular batches, crash course, each and every problem is on which page number. I remember I'm a regular faculty at ICA Hyderabad chapter, my own academy and now concept classes app also, all the lectures are there. So this 23 years journey, I have seen that PCC, IPCC, CA enter and now again May 24 something more, right? So... I know what exactly is the trend and though not boosting myself, this May 23 exam, the material problem was from the old compiler. There was a practice manual concept earlier along with your study material. So from there, they have picked up and asked cost sheet. So I will make sure that 
everything at professional level is covered what you want from your side you have to communicate it has to be a two way communication absolutely don't worry that recording is going on unmute and ask your doubt don't wait till the end of the class and if you want to talk one to one 8 o'clock the class gets over and sure after that you want to discuss sure connect with whatsapp but ask doubts whatever something is very clear say something is not clear say it should be an interactive class until now all instructions are clear right and now every chapter will start with the core concept and when i take that i can see all the past exam papers and the specific points my booster test series what i say you know they are really uh, done so committedly by students so when i correct the papers i know ki exactly at this point students are doing mistake in eoq i'll tell you that so first the concepts with the pitfall then the problems and every chapter will end with booster notes booster notes i will share the screen frankly i can give you that also as pdf the way i have given you the material also but you have to write 3 hours of exam 15 minutes of time to choose so make sure that you write it okay thodi cheeze to karo promise so to sink it in your mind you need to ink it that's what i always say so write the booster notes as i say one day before exam kya padhna hai kaise padhna hai over these classes it will be clear okay so today we are starting uh, acha and before we start with the topics as decided for today and already message to all of you we are doing koshi today but before i start with koshi i want to take up some concepts you know um what i'm going to teach in coming 10 minutes has really miraculously helped student i know that ki ma'am ye choti si baat thi but we have done the mistake so open your notebook take down the notes and whatever i am writing if you feel that you want it as a pdf let me know but i would prefer zyada kuch nahi likhna hai aur khud likhne se na that uh, that things will sink in your mind okay so before we start the topic for today let us take up one concept which is there in cost sheet which is there in operating costing which is there in budgeting and c for costing c for combo combo ka zamana hai all the topics 2 minutes i want to talk are super scoring it's not because i am teaching you i'll tell you many deadly combination which if possible avoid like process costing and absorption costing is asked together and you have the paper pattern wherein you can leave one question because both of them are lengthy absorption costing ma'am study material ka problem aa gaya lekin bahut calculations hai so i want you to have a notebook with you right now sit on a desk and table alert promise me when you need a break i have already told you we are going to take a break at 7 o'clock this batch is 5:30 to 8 but any time you feel ki you no know, it is please let me know it's not that big deal that always a teacher should dominate but you know commitment is that i am seeing you all you all are sitting on your desk table and uh, how is your best friend tell me is this your best friend this calculator is the same calculator which you are going to use in final exam so that you used to calculate class may you know out of 50 5 10 students tell the calculations costing class is like full of calculation but if you are not calculating now final exam you will not be able to complete the paper in 3 hours and make sure you run, learn all the functions that is m plus m minus mr overhead ka apportion karne mein to divide karke rakh do and then multiply right multiply right when you learn the concepts go slow when you practice you need to pick up the speed so this is all from my side note down some concepts what i am saying which are going to be very helpful we all know that uh, cost sheet or for any topic we follow certain basic equation now the basic equation is cost plus profit is selling price मैम ये क्या पढ़ा रहे हैं ये हमने मैथ्स में सिक्स सेवन क्लास में पढ़ा है राइट देन इन एग्जाम इफ दे गिव दैट प्रॉफिट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑन कॉस्ट सो कैन वी अज्यूम 
cost to be 100 profit is 20 percent on cost so selling price will be 120 if you already know it very good revise it with me suppose in the exam this is a usually task which you have to do in cost sheet in operating cost sheet and all okay now very quickly profit 20 percent on sales this time the percentage of the profit is on sales so can i take sales to be 100 profit to be 20 because 20 on sales and cost to be 80 is this clear what i'm teaching you in this two minutes concept is if the percentage of profit is on cost take cost as 100 120 120 if the percentage of profit is on sales take sales as 100 jiske upar percentage hai usko 100 lena hai right and then if you can understand this is one fifth 20 by 100 is one fifth this is one sixth this is one fourth this is one fifth if you understand fine Nahi to chhod do, because you are allowed to use calculator are you writing with me right now write down dear students profit is 33.33 percent on cost or the profit is 33.33 percent on sales. Ab kaise equation banaoge? Write it. Write it for sure. You will be always clear. Those who say mera paper complete nahi hota, ma'am, 85 mein se 58 mein le 100 attempt karta to 60 milte to for them. More clarity, more clarity. Finished? Finished? Let us take cost as 100. Chat box is on. Anything you want to put, you can put in chat box. I'm checking it. Cost is 100. 33.33 is nothing but one third on cost. One third on cost. So 133.33. That is one fourth on sales. Is this clear to all of you? Right? One third on cost is one fourth on sales. Now, why, dear students, one fourth on sales? Yes, 33, 33, 33, and one more 33. 33.33 is like 100, no? And one more, 133. This time it is one third of sales. Yeah, this comes in contract costing also, dear students. Cost sheet also, budget also, operating costing also. Let us take sales as 100. And this time profit is 33.33% on sales. So cost will be 66.67. One third on sales. So cost will be two third. This two seconds I'll continue writing and ask one more equation if you want to. Thank you so much for waiting. Shut up. Yes. Is this clear to all of you? One third on cost. So cost is 133, 133. One third on sales. Let sales be 133 and this. Okay? Right? So this is how we make the equation and we use it. One more concept which will come in the cost sheet also. But now only I want to talk with all of you. We all know that cost. Cost sheet is nothing but a statement. Yes. What is cost sheet? Cost sheet is a statement. Okay. In a hierarchy, we are adding one one cost to know what is our cost, what is our profit, what is our selling price. And it helps a lot in budgeting. It helps in decision making. 
let me tell you we are like qualified cacma or you all dear students future qualified and costing students but i have seen really superb so many times when i talk with my husband and he does like markup markdown all this so you know it is like they have not studied costing but they do it when they do business have you seen around your parents your dada ji saying like this nay nay 100 ka you go to a xerox wala and say 50 paisa per page no sir i want to take 100 print out of deepthi ma'am's pdf book instead of 50 paisa you take 30 paisa main 100 page kara raha hu ek sath you say nay parvadta that nay parvadta means you know that for me the paper cost the electricity this this my machine maintenance whatever it is is 35 paise per page so instead of 50 i can go for 45 paise per page but 30 mein to nahi hoga nahi hota followed or not please open yourself i know we are doing exam oriented coaching but this is necessary open and see around you it this month you know this july month is the month of sale and schemes whatever schemes are made around you know they are all costing they are all costing that if you buy above thousand they'll give you a voucher of hundred again then that hundred rupees voucher you can redeem with so and so purchases above thousand indirectly they are giving you five ten percent discount and asking you to come next time fifteenth August so much of all that was there this is ke upper ye offer is ke upper headphones ye how they are doing how they are giving that headphones in one rupee. observe that and here's what i close this discussion okay right good 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 all of your response in the chat box is very good and let us move ahead to the next concept what i want to explain is whenever we costing we start say conversion cost i wanted to explain that i'll explain with the cost sheet only now let us see cost sheet comes for 10 marks plus sometimes the objective questions also in the cma exam c exam you don't have the objectives now mm, let us make the format of the cost sheet i want all of you to write it down with me what is exactly the format of the cost sheet okay right a simple format we'll make first and then i'll give you all the details for that okay right so first whenever you make cost sheet in exam always make a column for particulars where you write all the details and then you have column for workings now if it is an accounts class investment chapter 1 to 9 10 all the working notes okay but if it is a cost sheet then working notes preferably here only and what i am giving you now is the format of cost sheet job costing operating costing budgeting sabke liye yahi format hai all the chapters are interlinked once you complete basic three chapters material labor overhead then you will feel that all the chapters are like a variety of cost sheet only but now we are doing cost sheet and cost sheet is vertical agar usi ko t format kar le So it becomes your integrated costing, and my one of my favorite topics we will learn that is reconciliation. That's very interesting. If you do analytical, chalo aaj ho. Particulars, working note is optional. Okay, yeah, right. Working note is optional, and then you have the total cost. Okay, then you have the cost per unit. cost per unit sometimes we need for stock valuation and all and some exams i'll show you the paper where you have to make and where you have to skip okay right let us start and make the reason i am making you do this format is to fit that into your mind that how you are going to make the cost sheet always let us start we are making groundnut oil so what will be our main ingredient raw material that is called as direct material direct material okay direct material is that material which is going to be the part of your output okay 
सो पीनट्स को ही क्रश करके पल्प बनेगा फिर क्रूड ऑयल बनेगा एंड देन वी विल बी हैविंग द रिफाइंड ग्राउंड नट ऑयल एज अ फिनिश प्रोडक्ट सो वॉट इज डायरेक्ट मटीरियल विच इज द पार्ट ऑफ द आउटपुट देन वी हैव डायरेक्ट लेबर देन वी हैव डायरेक्ट लेबर ओके दो आर एसोसिएटेड विद द प्रोडक्शन और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और सर्विस एक्टिविटी डायरेक्टली ओके देन वी हैव डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसेस नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ टाइम डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसेस आर स्किप्ड इन द एग्जाम सो बेसिकली इफ दे आर देयर फाइन इफ दे आर नहीं है तो डैश करने की जरूरत नहीं है मटीरियल लेबर एक्सपेंसिस इज कॉल्ड एज योर कोर कॉस्ट और प्राइम कॉस्ट टू दैट एड फैक्ट्री रिलेटेड एक्सपेंसिस वॉट इज द फैक्ट्री रिलेटेड एक्सपेंसिस डायरेक्टली एक्सपेंसिस विच आर रिलेटेड टू फैक्ट्री दैट यू शुड हैव इट ऑन योर टिप्स ओके राइट लाइक फैक्ट्री में जो भी मशीनरी है उसका रेंट रिपेयर इंश्योरेंस मेंस सुपरवाइजर सैलरी फैक्ट्रीज रेंट so many other factory related work your molds dyes jigs what you use for manufacturing royalty what you are paying all that will be a part of the factory overhead right once you have the factory overhead then actually here you can continue or you can speak uh, make it as your gross works cost isko kafi books वर्क्स कॉस्ट भी बोलते हैं फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट भी बोलते हैं प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट भी बोलते हैं नाउ एड टू एट ओपनिंग वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस वॉट इज सी आई हैव पुट सम पीन एंड आई हैव पुट सम लेबर एंड आई एम मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑलरेडी इन बिटवीन सम लास्ट मंथ मटीरियल इज देयर वॉट इज वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस ओपनिंग वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस इज द से पल्प पल्प जो क्रश करके तो पड़ा है बट अभी पूरा क्रश नहीं हुआ ऑयल नहीं निकला सो सम वर्क इज इन प्रोग्रेस सो दिस इज ओपनिंग वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस इन दैट वी हैव एडेड करंट वर्क वट एवर वी आर डूइंग एंड माइनस टिल दिस मच मटीरियल इज इन प्रोग्रेस वेन यू क्लोज दिस मंथ ऑलरेडी फाइव हंड्रेड लीटर्स इज द पल्पी मटीरियल विच इज येट टू बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू क्रूड ऑयल एंड देन रिफाइंड ऑयल that's your closing work in progress okay now what you get is called as your works cost and here is items which are added and asked most in the exam one or two rtps they have added it in factory overhead but that's wrong isko yahi pe alag se add karenge so in the works cost i want all of you to write all the names or factory cost or the production cost this is all the expenses related to production add quality control expense you know they'll be having inspection and all that so quality control expense your r and d expense star market with a different pen very important star bana do wahan pe ki ye exam ke liye bahut important hai and if you merge you know if you merge it up with factory overhead answer is going to be same but this question comes for 10 marks and you will lose it so your quality control your r and d now most important point is administrative overhead dear students you have two kinds of administrative overhead one which is related to <clears throat> production one which is related to production that you will put it here only okay in exam if they give administrative overhead is related to the production only you know factory related hi kuch kaam ke liye you want the laptop you want the refrigerator you want the thermometer something like that so that will all and those people who work overall between the production stock department their salary and all so admin overhead related to production will come here and in exam if they give you admin overhead is general related to accounts department director salary sitting fees board sitting ye sab so it will come in the selling overhead all this is written in your booster notes also i'll be sharing that in the end after we complete the practice of the problems 
so so what is the emphasis and new for you i am making you write are you writing with me is my speed fine material labor direct expenses is your prime cost add factory overhead gross works cost add opening and closing work in progress and now quality control r and d admin production <clears throat> after that we have primary packing you know what is primary if i am selling oil how do i sell it people are not going to come with cans ki theek hai 2 liter dalo 5 liter i'll have that basing wraps ek ek liter oil ja ke you know that packets so the primary packing cost is very well the cost related to factory without that the goods can jo manufactured goods they can't be so uh, stored primarily bechne ki baat to alag hai so this is called as primary packing and most important without which no business does 100% production there are going to be normal loss can i say 100 kg peanuts dale to 100 kg oil mila bilkul bhi nahi kuch na kuch scrap hoga kuch na kuch oil cake niklega which is taken as poultry farms wale use karte as fodder for animals ha jab hum sugar banate hain sugar king juice se तो वो जो ऊपर से निकलता है मोलासेस इट्स वेरी गुड फॉर मेकिंग बाम्स एंड ऑल सो इन शॉर्ट हियर वी विल माइनस द सेल ऑफ स्क्रैप स्पॉइलेज नॉर्मल व्हिच इज नॉर्मल इफ इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ फायर एंड ऑल देन इट विल गो इनटू द कॉस्टिंग पीएनएल बट योर नॉर्मल स्क्रैप एंड ऑल विल बी डिडक्टेड हियर सो आई वांट यू टू पुट अ क्राउन और स्टार मार्क बिटवीन दीस पॉइंट्स and if this presentation is missing in exam you can't score marks theek hai right so finally now we have got one more time factory cost okay the goods which are ready over here so we got the uh, factory related cost of production or because factory cost is again consuming let us call it as cost of production Whatever goods are produced, oil packets, primary packing to hoga, R and D quality control check to hoga, right? So it has passed through all this. In cost of production, if I add opening stock of finished goods, say this time I have produced five thousand units. I already had thousand units ready with me. Can I add one term here? If required in exam, you add. Otherwise, directly you can put minus closing work in progress. But कभी कभी exam में पूछते हैं, so I am making you write cost of goods available for sale. Cost of goods available for sale. Tell me, is this clear to all of you? How many goods I have produced? Five thousand. Already I had thousand goods from last month. So now do I have cost of goods? available for sale as 6000 units minus closing stock of finished goods say 500 goods are still in godown and now how many goods are sold cost of sales trust me dear students one second a screen got stuck so i'm sharing it again from where you have not written write it trust me dear students when i'm saying write it write it you don't know you are doing 3 in 1 5 in work one work today ma'am flexible budget mein bhi yahi hai job cost sheet mein bhi yahi hai and uh, your stock ledgers t format ledgers when will flow you will enjoy you will get a feeling like single entry kar rahe hain provided in your mind this sheet is ready ठीक है, all right. Hmm. So what is cost of the sales? These many goods are sold. Okay. Now can we add selling related expenses here? I'll talk about each expenses also five ten minutes. Selling overhead. What is selling overhead? Okay. One thing I want to say, you know, sometimes they give you vehicle. So whatever vehicles are used in factory. उसका रेंट उसका डेप्रीसिएशन ड्राइवर सैलरी ऑफ दैट फैक्ट्री डम्पर डिगर ऑल दैट विल कम इन फैक्ट्री नाउ कम टू एडमिन 
okay this some uh, computer related uh, depreciation amc and <clears throat> on rent if you have taken some computers or whatever that will come in admin same selling related you have delivery van uska depreciation repair insurance driver salary all that will be a part of selling expenses with selling expenses as i said you have administrative overhead you will write it here if they give you general it is a general administrative overhead so you will write it here and now here we will add the secondary packing if i am a manufacturer of oil packets dozen dozen packets i'll put it in a box box mein bhi wo brand ka naam likha hoga and then it is sealed pack and supply right 1 1 kg tata salt packets they will be put up in a sack in every sack 10 packets of tata salt 1 kg are there so this secondary packing selling overhead admin overhead and one thing not mentioned in the cost sheet but added in your recent material and very important is in case if you have interest cost and all it will come here in case ma'am earlier we have studied interest and all is never a part of the cost sheet but now they are taking for decision making because every business is taking loans and they are paying interest so of course that's going to be a part of their cost sheet and administrative overhead me directors remuneration are you writing all add ons directors remuneration or you can say sitting fees of the director both sitting fees i am directly hitting what is exactly asked in exam if you tell me factory overhead then supervisor ka salary aur aapka jo royalty lagta hai na see if i am manufacturing dairy milk in hyderabad then i have to pay royalty to the dairy milk it's very much my factory related expense then i manufacture dairy milk so i use molds dyes to print that cadbury cadbury on every chocolate so all that will come as a factory over these are just reminders so few things are to be understood few things are to be fitted in your mind to samajh lena jab deepti ma'am char bar repeat kar rahe hai na so it's my responsibility to make things learn right so once you complete all selling related expense secondary packing interest cost is selling i can add selling and can i add here only distribution over it to distribute in the twin cities you have sales people their traveling expense discounts and all that will come here right please change here this is cost of goods available for sale this is the cost of goods sold how many goods are sold 5500 and after selling expense what we get we call it cost of sales add profit profit could be 100% on cost or 100% on sales and now what you get is your sales tell me is the format clear they can ask you this format matlab aise pura problem nahi straight they will give you missing figures in between and they will say find the missing figures is my speed fine then i would like to talk little bit in detail now you know when i say direct material what is direct material as i took the example of peanuts or leather sheets from which you make leather shoes so direct material is opening stock of direct material which is there with you some purchases minus closing stock of direct material this will give you direct material consumed exactly same you will use in budgeting when they say you prepare sales budget then production budget and then purchase budget automatically after 10th or 15th class your speed will increase because now you see ma'am things are overlapping 
opening stock of direct material purchases minus closing stock of direct material still in go down then this is the material consumed ma'am when we will do this when they give you opening and closing stock if they don't give you and they just give direct material right like this i am telling you 10 cost sheet problems right now theek hai ab thoda sa aur detail chalte hain which is asked in many chapters when i take purchase of raw material can i add purchase related expenses cif what i call it as carriage insurance freight on road i am calling my raw material from chennai to hyderabad so carriage in word freight road insurance will i add all this yes basic transport expenses and all gst we will add to purchase purchases only if only if itc not availed what is itc input tax credit if on my raw material itc is availed and output minus input is my tax payable and all don't add that gst to the material anywhere you are not following ask me if i am teaching you this i have already covered five marks problem asked in question number 1 from direct material chapter मैम पर आप तो कॉस्ट शीट में पर डायरेक्ट मटेरियल में यही पूछते हैं वी हैव कॉल्ड टेन थाउजेंड गुड्स हंड्रेड आर लॉस्ट इवेपोरेटेड एंड दिस मच वी हैव रिसीव वी हैव पेड फ्रेड दिस मच दिस 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 जीएसटी वी हैव पेड आईटीसी अवेलेबल डोंट ऐड इट एंड देन डिवाइडेड बाय गुड यूनिट्स यू गेट द कॉस्ट पर यूनिट ऑफ द रॉ मटेरियल दिस इज नॉट द वे वी टीच इन रेगुलर बैच हां सिक्स क्लासेस फॉर द मटेरियल चैप्टर इटसेल्फ हाँ, बट इज माई स्पीड पॉइंट सी द इंटेंसिव प्रैक्टिस व्हेन वी विल डू व्हेन वी हैव आर बास्केट रेडी तो उसमें तो सब आ जाएगा ना जितना है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट डायरेक्ट कंज्यूम नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट डायरेक्ट लेबर मैम डायरेक्ट लेबर इज वट एवर वेजेस वी पे बट वी ऑल नो द लेबर चैप्टर दैट अलॉन्ग विथ वेजेस वी आर पेइंग देम पर्कोजिट्स वी आर पेइंग देम अलाउंसेस we are paying their esic we are paying they are also paying 12% of their salary to pf hum bhi to 100 pe 12 extra de rahe na so whatever i am paying to my employee is all clear added here if they give direct labor only ma'am in the exam take it if they give 8000 hours are required and per hour it is 2 rupees 16000 8000 units you are manufacturing and it is per unit it will be per unit per hour percentage jaise diya hai waise lena hai is the direct labor clear to all of you right and then direct expenses i have already told you exactly all your royalty and all like core factory related expenses okay now when i teach this much i want to teach up the concept of conversion cost this is my guess for that this is asked in cost sheet okay regular batch we have solved problem also for this if with this you are checking the regular videos you will get it if not concept of course i promised i'll give 100% concept to ye dekho mere sath kya kara rahe hain aapko conversion cost raw material mein if you put labor and overhead that is factory overhead you get the finished goods or the cost of the production in the factory is my formula clear on screen put your pens down right i'll give pause and give you time to copy ye dekho raw material mein thoda sa you know as if i'm cooking something thoda namak daalo thoda ye daalo thoda chaat masala so in your raw material peanuts if you add labor if you add expenses will you get your finished goods that's your cost of production yes then here labor and overhead is called as conversion cost what is conversion cost ma'am cost of converting the raw material into the finished goods cost of converting the raw material in the finished goods is called as conversion cost ma'am how is it useful in exam suppose in exam they give you raw material is 5000 okay labor is 600 rupees and it is 60% of 
conversion cost. If labor is 60% of the conversion cost, raw material and labor, then can I say overhead will be 40% of the conversion cost? Meri baat samaj mein aari hai. If 60% is 600 is labor, 40% will be how much? 400 will be the overhead. And so our finished goods or our cost of production will be 6,000. Is this clear to all of you? 5,000 is the raw material. Your conversion cost, either they will give. This time, instead of conversion, these, they said 60% of conversion cost is labor, 600. Then for remaining 40% will be over it, 400, and we got the answer. Sometimes they'll give you total conversion cost and they'll ask you to split. Ma'am, ye kaise use hoga when they will ask you to complete the cost sheet up to down? You know, like you play Sudoku, you know the rule ki 1 to 9 aana hai, 1 to 9 aana hai. Kahin se bhi shuru, to cost sheet bhi waisa hai. Kahin se bhi, whatever you know. The one line answer for the cost sheet is you should put the things on paper. You read the question and you feel it's confusing. Kya hai? As it is, copy that data in your answer sheet. Koi format ki zarat nahi. It's not accounts. Accounts, even I am very specific. Investment, triple column, single entry, data, ke baad bills receivable. Aana hai. Creditors, ke baad bills. Wo sab hai. Yahan pe nahi hai. Ye data hai, ek minute ka itna rupay. You know, it's like logically. Analyze, do it, score marks, score exemption. Go ahead. Done? Until now, all clear for the cost sheet, right? Then let me, and the two concepts I taught you, cost ke upar percentage, profit ke upar. Ma'am, if profit is 33% on sales. Yeah, so sales is 100. 33.33 is the profit. So cost is 66. Huh, 66. See, one third on the sales is two third. Two third and one third is one, no? So one third on the sales is like two third on the cost. And I told you, if you don't understand two third, one third, you do 66.67. What I explained to you now, no, dear students, you will enjoy it in work, certified work, and certified when we come to that topic. Hmm. Chal. Enjoy karo. Aap achche se mehnat kar rahe ho. Saath mein karenge. Kitna bhi time lage, we'll practice everything. Don't worry. To chalo. Let us begin now with our uh, concepts once and then we will go with the material. <clears throat> Second. Check the format if you have any doubt, ask me. I'm just teaching it in a very open way. You know, they can ask you to make it per unit. They can ask you to make it sometimes as a percentage also. So, anyhow, they say is okay. Jaise bhi bole aapko karna hai. Chalo, let us begin. Straight to the institute's material now. <coughs> One second, only few pointers which I want to say, and then we will. Yeah, please check here. You all have got the regular batch also. So you know this. this is the format of the cost sheet. We have done direct material in detail. I told you all. This yeah, trade discounts be minus. Hoga.
cost of production. See, these are the expenses, factory related, quality control, R&D admin, credit for the recoveries, packing cost. What are the factory related core expense? Consumable, yeah. Factory overhead mein sabse pehle aata hai indirect material. What is indirect material? What is my direct material? Peanuts. Once I get crude oil, it's dark in color. I add some chemicals, I get refined crystal clear oil. So that is indirect material. Consumables and all what is added. Depreciation of factory building. Ma'am, why you are saying so much in detail again? Because abhi, the last exam paper also, if you see, not the big list, but they are asking few items. So you need to know where to park. Isko kedar park karna. Hmm? Then indirect labor. Repairs and maintenance of factory related machinery. Drawing. Insurance of plant and machinery. Amortized cost of jigs and all. That is molds all. Tool room, engineering room. And in every factory we have energy saving devices, pollution control equipment. All that's a part of factory overhead. Separately, after the factory overhead, you have to add all this. Factory cost, man. quality control cost, R&D, admin, credit for the recovery, sale of the scrap, any other primary packing and all. If it is, then you have finished goods and then you have admin overhead, selling, packing, all. What is admin related? Ye exam mein puchte hain. Tab students ko yaad nahi aata hai. Ma'am, director ko salary diye, remuneration diye. It's a part of administrative overhead. They can give you a very scoring eight bits of four marks ki place these items, where it will come, in which overhead. Okay? Legal charges, audit fees, printing and stationery, directors, board sitting fees. All this will come in administrative expenses. Sales related salary, wages, rent, depreciation, cost of advertisement, secondary packing, delivery related distribution expenses all. Sometimes if it is without stock, you can do. Okay? Right. So these are the pointers. What items you don't have to consider is your non-operating income, rent received dividend. That's not taken in the cost sheet. You can't give any interest and all and profit and loss on sale of investment. So, thode items. Payment of dividend is not an expenditure. It's like appropriation. So, all these are the items. Income tax is not your cost sheet related expense. So, these are the items which will not be taken. Okay? Writing off of the goodwill. And what will not be taken will be more clear. Again, I'm saying in your One second, huh, dear students. I'm opening the file now. Study material and let us begin with the question. Few questions, we will do it. And few questions, definitely, we can <clears throat> check. But few though I have marked, they are very important. If the time is not sufficient today, we can go tomorrow also. But uh, tomorrow also, half class also, if we take, that's fine. But ye karna hai. All right. I, this file is okay. Can you see the cost sheet? Can you message if the cost sheet, too many files are open today? So screen sharing is overlapping. Can you message me in the chat box if you can see the cost sheet? Okay, thank you so much. Right. So all this we have already covered up in detail. In Just read it once. Two and a half hours of my class and one more hour. And I have to do this with me. Today we have to go to this function. We will recording. So it will never be done. And you cannot write any you know, excuses in the final exam. So I would do not recommend you to skip a single class. Do it with me and complete it. Okay. One thing did you understand in this cost sheet that we will um, value the closing stock of raw material here at the material level. 
work in progress will be valued after the factory overhead, right? And finished goods will be valued at cost of production. Cost of production, the pura expense finished goods may attack. And now very important is, dear students, if they give you per unit material, per unit factory overhead, all this is charged for number of units produced. Number of units produced. What happened yesterday? I was writing and today I'm not able to do that. Hmm? And selling related expense are number of units sold. Number of units sold. Okay? Right. Okay. Pay attention. Abnormal cost. You will not take it in the cost sheet. Huh? Post pandemic, lots of business had abnormal cost. So, you will not take it. Subsidies and grants. If you are receiving any income from government and all, will you take it in the cost sheet? No. Penalties and all, no. Interest and other charges, yes. Interest include any payment in the nature of interest and interest and finance charges are not included in the cost of production. But are they included in administrative expenses general? Answer is yes. This point is not clear, but I've seen that applying in so many questions. When I'm taking these classes, I've already earlier also, and once again, I've gone through all the trends, RTPs, MTPs, question papers, so nothing you'll be missing out on concept. What are the advantages of cost sheet? Your last theory question for five marks. It gives you all the total cost and per unit. It helps you to compare the standard actual. It helps you to make your budget estimates. It helps you ki cost agar itna hai. Ab dekh lo, tumko 20% turn karna hai, you sell it. So it helps you to fix up your selling price and it helps you in checking your operational efficiency. Theek hai? Right? Okay? Hmm. So sometimes they are asking you, okay, one very important pitfall, dear students, listen to me, whether it is a cost sheet or job cost sheet, ya overhead ka problem, ya operating cost sheet, wo school college wala. Please remember your numerator, you are making it for what? Are you making cost sheet for one month? Divide by number of units produced one month. Are you making cost sheet for one year? So please remember what is the data. Everything was per month. Some figures are given for 12 months. Then you'll have to divide it by 12. Am I giving you the correct input? And not necessary in all the problems. Sometimes they ask you to make the cost sheet in thousands. So make it in thousands. Don't keep on adding three, three zeros everywhere. Okay. These are the simple things. Let us take up problem number one now. Okay. Hmm. So it's a very simple problem. What we will do in notebook, I'll tell you a little later. This is a simple one. So let us do it here. You all are having this material. Following data relates to the manufacturing of uh, the product for April. Raw material wages, machine hours worked and machine hour rate. This is nothing but factory overhead. So again, missing in the problem is direct wages. Administrative overhead is general. Where will you take it, dear students? Three overheads I told you. Factory, admin, selling. But ye administrative overhead kaha aega? Yes. Just now I told you where it will come. Tell me in the chat box. This administrative overhead in bracket, it is written general. So where it will come? In the selling expenses. If it is administrative overhead related to production, then after the factory overhead, you will take it. If you feel, no ma'am, I have not learned earlier directly. I have come for this intensive practice batch. Then you need to repeat it to your students. Because we assume, had it been regular batch, then to you know how we go, like as if the foundation passed karke first time up. to time nahi hai na? Okay? Right. Selling over it. Yes. 
selling overhead whenever they give per unit multiply by number of units sold ma'am but produced are given your factory expense your administrative overhead related to factory all that is incurred for per unit produced i hope you are getting number of units produced minus the factory overhead per unit number of units produced uske liye admin overhead per unit selling overhead is for number of units sold because uske upar hi closing stock to minus ho gaya na right and they have given you units sold and all so simply particular total i told you to make one extra column here for working if required raw material is 180000 just given to you wages is given to you yes so you are getting the prime cost add factory overhead 10000 hours into 8 cost of production now this time you have don't have the opening stock you have produced 4000 units but you have sold 3600 units so 400 units are in stock 4000 unit ka cost itna hai to 400 ka kitna or multiply per unit so can i say closing stock of finished goods is valued at current cost per unit of production opening may be given nahi diya hai to opening bhi ye rate se le lo current production and closing will be always be taken at per unit hmm? and when you minus closing and stock is reducing see out of 4000 400 units in the go down are 87.5 then whatever are sold they are also 87.5 so here per unit mein koi change no change will be there is the pitfall clear to all of you whatever is produced at 87.5 is in your go down also at 87.5 closing stock so whatever is the cost of the goods sold is also 87.5 ma'am why did you take admin overhead here because it's general had it been related to production i would have taken it up selling expenses per unit see not for 4000 units produced for number of units sold and you get the cost of the sales and sales is given to you you get now they have prepared separate statement in exam you can continue here only profit and here only sales that would be easier any doubt so these are simple problems so we are checking and there are some very nice problems which we will be solving especially i feel the past exams and the rtp's problem hmm? because rtp problems are as it is asked so definitely we would like to do that in writing is my speed fine and until now all clear so let us go to illustration number 2 following is the information obtained from 1st june to 30 june this is a full fledged problem wherein raw material opening and closing stock is there so indicator in your mind see reading the question paper is an art you read the question paper in such a way you don't have to read and analyze if this is given dear students the mindset is okay i have to work out direct material consumed work in progress is there finished goods is there purchase is there wages is your direct labor factory overhead admin overhead is related to production so immediately after work in progress you will add the administrative overhead and you will get the cost of production in factory cost you will add the administrative overhead and you will get the cost of production see 1% confusion in the overheads to aise yaad rakho dekho prime cost ke baad factory overhead add hota hai you get works cost okay i'll write it in that sheet only so that you all remember 2 minutes i'm taking extra but this will be clearing the concept here dekho prime cost ke baad factory overhead if you add you get works cost after that opening closing work in progress here dear students you add administrative expenses or overhead if they are related to the production you get cost of production 
after this opening closing and all work in progress here you add the selling overhead is the parking of the three overheads clear to you mind mapping factory overhead ki jagah kahan hai prime cost ke baad administrative overhead ki jagah kahan hai works cost ke baad where you put quality control minus the sale of the scrap and all everything here selling overhead after the cost of production ma'am stocks kaha aayenge to aapka direct material ka stock yahan pe where you have written the direct material consumed works cost ke baad work in progress stock cost of production ke baad finished goods stock see i am doing it in different different angles problem is same they'll give you per unit they'll give you percentage 10 out of 10 marks in cost sheet and in choice you should do this problem this to base level topic and that's why i'm taking it first so ready to go now let us go to problem number 2 purchases we know factory overhead is related to production so now we know it will come where selling overhead and sales so this is simple hmm they have asked you different different parts mein in the parts they have asked you the cost sheet so first is raw material consumed to opening purchase minus closing consumed purchase mein they could have given carriage insurance freight and input gst custom duty and so on after prime cost add factory overhead hmm? opening and closing work in progress you get factory cost add i'm not going to do tick tick for every problem huh? we will be solving please keep patience some good questions are there this is very simple to build up the format add administrative overhead you get cost of production add opening stock minus the closing stock you get the cost of the goods sold right add selling overhead you get the cost of the sales and sales if you know profit will be balancing figure profit if you know sales ma'am they didn't prepare per unit or percentage because the data is not given data nahi diya hai so they have not prepared the per unit is my speed fine you say hmm? these are all the simple level of the problems i will solve exactly the way what you get okay right now arnav limited has done this expenditure this in regular class also we ask students to check it this is a big problem part of it is asked in now may 23 exam like you know this is having so many items in every overhead just for practice purpose they have given a jumbo question itne bade question exam mein nahi aate <coughs> then <clears throat> how what why they have given this just to practice and to remember where all which items will come like raw material purchases it's a part of material consume gst on above we will not take only because we are availing input tax credit we will not add it to the cost of purchase and so we will not take it in the cost sheet freight inward we will add it to the material purchase wages now wages is having direct wages pf esic bonus to the workers all this will come in wages royalty for production direct expenses power and fuel direct expenses hmm? amount paid for the purchase of mold and all and the life is 2 years so if you divide by 2 you will get your per uh, per years expense and that expense mold jigs and all will be a part of direct expenses okay right now this is all factory related expenses depreciation on factory building factory overhead depreciation of office building admin overhead plant and machinery factory delivery vehicles ka depreciation selling overhead salary of the supervisor factory so this problem is basically a practice of your overheads ki where you will put instead of factory if you put in selling a final answer is going to tell you step wise marks will go same repairs of factory plant and machinery factory overhead 
सेल्स रिलेटेड सेलिंग ओवर इट व्हीकल्स विच आर यूज फॉर डायरेक्टर और उसका रिपेयर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव डायरेक्टर की सैलरी अकाउंट्स डिपार्टमेंट की सैलरी डायरेक्टर्स रेम्यूनरेशन बोर्ड सिटिंग फीस व्हीकल यूज्ड बाय डायरेक्टर ऑल दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एडमिन ओवरहेड ओके सेम वे इंश्योरेंस प्लांट एंड मशीनरी का इंश्योरेंस पे किए तो फैक्ट्री फैक्ट्री बिल्डिंग का फैक्ट्री स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल इंश्योरेंस एड इट इन द डायरेक्ट मटीरियल यही पे एज आई टोल्ड यू वेन यू टेक डायरेक्ट मटीरियल यू एड द कैरेज इंश्योरेंस फ्रेड सो दिस इज द इंश्योरेंस ऑफ द मटीरियल क्वालिटी कंट्रोल एंड ऑल आई टोल्ड यू आफ्टर फैक्ट्री ओवर एड वी विल राइट सेपरेटली क्वालिटी कंट्रोल आर एंड डी पोल्यूशन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एक्सपेंसिस ऑल दिस विल कम आफ्टर द ग्रॉस वर्क कॉस्ट ठीक है राइट then primary packing will go in the factory overhead ke baad wahan pe and for redistribution will go in the selling overhead wages of employees who are working in distribution sales fees of auditors legal advisors all this is a part of now out of so many items around say uh, 30 items can they ask you 8 to 10 items in the exam yes and they are asking and it is very scoring ठीक है दिस टाइम यू हैव पेड बोनस बोनस देखते से वेजेस में ऐड नहीं करना दिस इज बोनस फॉर द सेल्स स्टाफ दिस विल गो इन द सेलिंग एक्सपेंस बोनस रिलेटेड टू अकाउंट्स डिपार्टमेंट स्टाफ एडमिन बोनस रिलेटेड टू फैक्ट्री वर्कर्स फैक्ट्री ओवर इट फॉलोड ऑल ऑफ यू एंड देर इज स्क्रैप स्क्रैप कहा माइनस होता है क्वालिटी कंट्रोल एंड फैक्ट्री ओवर एड एक्सपेंस एंड ऑल दैट राइट ओके so let us take up with this this problem let us take it orally and isko ek bar pura acche se dekhte hain and then we'll go and do other sums raw material purchased 10 lakhs freight inward opening stock of raw material closing stock this is all related to raw material wages of the factory worker esic bonus to factory workers direct wages direct expenses royalty i gave you the examples of cadburys ha huh? so royalty when you pay direct power and fuel molds ka aadha 8 lakh 96000 divide by 2 because that was amortized over 2 years job work all this is direct expenses add factory related expense stores depreciation of the factory building repairs of machinery insurance of machinery and all insurance premium paid for the stock of the raw material this is stock of raw material insurance so they have taken it here had it been insurance of the purchased items then we would add it in the purchases salary of supervisor pollution control equipment and all gross factory cost opening and closing work in progress factory cost ye important hai if you see past exam papers this they are asking quality control expense r and d expense their salary administrative expense related to factory and the sale value of scrap yahan pe minus hoga and primary packing of course this will give you cost of production so your finished goods is valued till here it's the ready produced in your godown your as2 closing stock is this opening finished goods closing finished goods and cost of the goods sold are you feeling like this you have done in as2 also hmm? now add admin related all vehicles repairs director ko jo use hua hai unki salary and auditor directors all this i already read selling expenses secondary packing wages of sales people and cost of the sales theek hai right so we will take up now some nice questions in writing and then i will come study material ke back side related questions also okay
Shall we do first the RTPs or question papers? MTP, I have already prepared the revision video also and MTP questions were actually easy for this topic I checked still. What do you want to do? So we will start. Past four exams, printouts you keep ready. Yes, for now, <clears throat> already so many couriers have been done yesterday only. If you have not received the material, take a screenshot, no? Uska bhi, booster notes ka bhi, kya kare? Hmm? Let us take up the problem. <clears throat> One minute. May 22, RTP, November 22, RTP, May 23, all we will discuss. This is a very nice topic so that we can do all the questions in writing. <clears throat> RTPs I'm starting with. So let us take up the May 22 RTP. All right. Let me share the screen with all of you. Can you see this? Usually it comes in sometimes question number two. Sometimes it RTP so it is Thoda likke practice karte hai, no? that will be better. Earlier I have taken crash courses from my material only directly, wherein I have covered on all the past exam papers and all of course. This is November 22 question paper. Hmm? 23 chal raha hai na, to reverse chal hai. November 22. Yeah, this one is a very nice question. Twice they have asked this kind of the question. Read it from screen and let us do it in writing. Acha question. Hai. November 22 question paper. Are you having that with you all? If not, take the screenshot right now. <clears throat> I am also having all the printouts just for the reference. But we will do it in writing so that you understand all the pitfalls also. One by one. And right now you can just take a screenshot of this. I hope you all are attending on laptop, preferably on full screen. Chalo. Prime Limited Manufacturers. Okay, so once again, November 22, question number 4B. We are doing question paper. Huh? RTP fir karenge, abhi question paper khol gaya, to kar lete hai. Two types of the mask. So this is two products. Okay, I'll call it DNC in brief right now. Disposable mask and glove. The cost data, same this kind of the question again got repeated also. Direct material, direct wages, production over it. Now, okay, they have given this time material. Material may have detail nahi hai. Opening stock, closing stock, all is not there. But direct material, what they are having is total they have given. They are asking you how much you will put for the disposable mask how much you will put for the cloth mask, okay? Now, direct material for the cloth mask was twice as much as direct material for the disposable. So, if you have X here, then how much you need 2X material. Chahiye. Is this clear to all of you? Hmm? Direct wages per unit of D was 60% of C. Here, if it is X, here it is 0.6 percentage of x. 
So it's not equal. You can't say, ma'am, direct material divided by number of units produced for disposable mask and cloth mask because both are not using same number of units. Samaj me aapko? Ma'am, direct material 12 lakh 50,000 divided by number of units produced you cannot do because number of units produced for D and C are not using the product in same way. Production overhead unit at the same rate for both. Okay, factory overhead is same for both. Wages ho gaya, material ho gaya. Dono ke liye equation banayenge. Administrative overhead was 50% of the production overhead. Okay, good. Factory cost. It's a very simple cost sheet without any work in progress and all. Selling overhead. Selling overhead is dekhte se number of units sold. Deepthi ma'am said selling overhead is never for number of units produced. <clears throat> Selling price is given so that we get the profit. Cloth masks sold are 45,000. And these are number of units of cloth masks sold are 45,000. And produced are 50,000. Produced are 50,000. Cloth masks sold are 45. So what is 5,000 dear students? Closing stock of finished goods of cloth mask. How many units are produced for disposable? 1,50,000. How many units are sold for disposable? Not given. Ha, they can produce 150 units. Is ke hue? Is ke 45,000 units hue? Clear to all of you? Right. You are required to prepare cost sheet for only cloth mask. Not for disposable. Then ma'am, why the data is important? To split the cost, right? And profit per unit also and total profit also. So shall we do it in writing this time? This is November 22, actual question paper. Are you all okay? Have you all taken the screenshot? Shall I brief it or? So you all have this question. Same aja hai to mujhe bolna ma'am kitne minutes mein hua final exam mein. Are you all following or not? And now you learn three way skill. Ma'am abhi tak skill hi to sikha rahe. Ab kya skill sikha rahe? When I am reading the problem, you are reading. When I am writing, you are writing. When I am asking, you analyze. Am I asking you to test your knowledge ki how much the chat box is active? You all are answering. This will go in admin. This will go in selling. You all have come to learn here. And I am sharing my knowledge with you all. To make it easy scoring, super scoring. And exemption oriented topic. So when I am asking you, think deep and answer. Take it as a challenge. This is especially for those who are working, job wale or jo recording dekh rahe hai. Pause karo video. Jab Deepthi ma'am ne kuch poocha hai aap se, answer it. Ma'am, but if we are wrong, you will learn it. A beautiful, positive ego hurt. And if it is correct, genuine wala confidence will boost up. Dikti ma'am asked, I gave the answer correct. I know cost sheet. I now know cost sheet. Clear? And those who are watching live, you all know or not? In, in the app also, you have 1.5 view of the same video. It will be uploaded tonight or tomorrow morning. So you can watch again if you feel ki aaj. Ma'am ke saath cost sheet khatam hi kar lena hai. You have, you know, planned your, these two and a half hours classes over this month. We are taking costing. Then we will be taking direct taxation from 15 September. And already accounts, GST videos are given to you, which you are doing in morning. So many of you have started with single entry. So go with a schedule and have that mindset. November 23, we are going to clear the group with lot of hard work. No excuses. And everything in writing. Format likha ab sab ne? Chalo abhi problem ko notebook mein karte hai. Right? Chalo, let me make the cost sheet. Cost sheet for the month of June or whatever they have asked. Then we will make a column for total and then we will make a column for per unit. All right. 
This is November 2022 question paper, question number four, be bit in writing in class now and check the time also. Direct material. Can I just write and keep all the format looking into the question? Ki we don't have the material consumed and all. Direct wages. This time there is no direct expenses. So directly we will get prime cost. Add factory overhead or factory cost or production over it, whatever you want. And you get factory cost. Factory cost ka aur ek norm kya hai, dear students? Works cost. You know, dear students, what I'm skipping in the format? Stock. Work in progress ka stock nahi hai, to chhod do. Administrative overhead. And then we get the cost of production. I want you to make like this format in exam. Ma'am, kaise pata chalega, kaise banana? So you've read the problem. There is no opening uh, finished goods. So directly whatever is produced, less closing stock of finished goods. So you have the cost of goods sold. Add selling overhead cost of sales add profit and you get the sales any doubt any student in taking down the format and this is like particulars this is like total cost and this is going to be your cost per unit. Acha hai, clear hai, format. Shall we start with your working note one for the direct material? Direct material. I'm doing disposable mass D, and this is C. Okay. So, number of units produced. Kitna bana hai? And you have to make this very fast and understandable. How many units have you manufactured? Direct material. Expenses ko split karne ke liye. What I am using and why? More concentration is on the concept. Hmm? The number of units aapke jo produce hoi hai. How many units of disposable mask we have produced? 150. Cloth mask, 50,000. Per unit, usage. Usage of raw material. Raw material, kitna use ho hai? Dekho. First line, I am reading it loudly for all of you. Direct material used for cloth mask is twice as direct material for the disposable mask. So here, if you are using X, here you are using 2X or 2M, whatever you want to take. Okay, right. Are you all writing with me? Anyone is just watching and doing, so they are wasting their time. Koi fayda nahi hai. Very good. Is that problem on the screen? One second. Hmm. Chalo. So, what is the usage? Here, if it is one unit requires one kg, here it is required two kgs or units or whatever it is. Okay. So, can I call this in the technical language as equivalent units? This is 1,50,000x. This is 1 lakh x. Anyone in the class is having doubt? And now your raw material cost. What is your raw material cost is given in the problem? Direct material total hai kitna? 
twelve lakh fifty thousand for all, for whatever you have produced. This is given in the problem. This direct material I will divide it with two lakh fifty thousand equivalent units. Are you all with me? Take your time. Now, ma'am, this is asked in exam and this is not there in study material. That's why. In my course sheet, I am teaching one question of simultaneous equation also. How to cancel the equation and all. Regular batch material. Because sub variety cover can. Aapko samaj mein hai? How many of you are not clear? I will explain again. Ma'am, 12 lakh 50 thousand material ka cost hai. 1 lakh ye or 50 thousand ye. 2 lakh units you have made. Why can't you divide it like this? Because all the units are not using equal material. It's not a point of me doing this. You all are having this printout. Yes or no? Past four exams, papers, RTPs, MTPs, are they there or not on your table? Then why we are doing this to understand the concept? So equivalent units are, agar yaan pe 1,50,000 kg raw material ya units use ho raha hai, to yaan pe kitna use ho raha hai? Double instead of 51 lakh. So this is divided by 2,50,000. So what is the cost per unit? Five per unit is the direct material cost. Same way working note two for direct labor. Direct labor. If direct labor is for the cloth mask, if direct labor or direct wages is W, here it is 0 0.6 W. They are not equal. Followed or not? Direct wages per unit. If per unit wages is 1 W or W for the cloth mask, then here it is 60%, 0 0.6. And what is the number of units? 1,50,000 and 50,000. So if direct labor used for cloth is 50,000 units, or hours or whatever it is, 50,000 W. Then here it is, 1,50,000 is using only 60%. That is 90,000 W. This is like equivalent units. If you don't write also equivalent units, okay. Some of them want to do it in brief, okay. What is my direct wages? Please ask me if you feel you want a pause to write or you want me to. Repeat. Direct wages 250. Again, same concept, dear student. Ma'am, direct wages 250 and 2 lakh units are produced. Yera. Why can't you divide? No. 2 lakh are not equivalent units because 1 lakh 50,000 units will use only 60% normal wages and 50,000 units full. So, what is the equivalent units? 1 lakh 40. 1,40,000. How much is it coming per unit of the direct wages? Yeah, yeah, one thing here. <clears throat> One second, oh dear students. Did I do it correct? Yeah, okay. It's correct only by mistake. I took the cost wrong. Please change it, dear students. Seven lakh is the total wages. Divide by 1,40,000. Divide by 1,40,000. So how much is it coming? W is coming to 5. Wages per unit for the cloth. For the cloth we want to do, no? Disposable ka to bana nahi hai. Cost sheet kiske liye bana rahe hai? For the cloth mask. You can write on top. So for that wages, same way, 
this is like 5 per unit is x. But for cloth, it is 2x. So, cloth ke liye per unit raw material kitna hoga? 5 into 2, 10 per unit. Please add on this. Take your time. 10 minute or lage, no problem. I want a message from all of you. Is this clear or not? <clears throat> Have you written the working? Have you followed it? Maybe some of you are doing it for the first time. But is it clear or not? 1,50,000 units are using X raw material. Then 50,000 are using double. So X is 5 per unit. Cost per unit for disposable is 5. So, for cloth, it will be 10. Is it very easy? Direct wages. 5 per unit. Sometimes they'll give an R. And now production overhead is same for both. Production overhead or factory overhead is same for both. So, the total production overhead divide by total units write down it's given in the question even if you're not having the sheet write it now i've given you the screenshot what is the production overhead total production overhead four lakh and how many units are made 150 of disposable and 50 of this two lakh so what is this two per unit 2 per unit now can we start with the cost sheet with these working notes yes and one more working note for cloth mask number of units produced <clears throat> number of units produced is given to you in the question, 50,000 number of units sold. That's also given in the last line of the question. Number of units sold, 45,000. So what is the closing stock of finished goods for the cloth mask? 5,000 units. You know, when you write, dear students, the mindset now and in exam, okay? Number of units produced will help you to decide the admin factory and all over it. Number of units sold, selling over it. Done? Shall we? Now we have the direct material cost. How many units are produced? 50,000. And what is the cost per unit? Just now we have calculated 10. Reference number working note 1. Chota sa hai to you can add the computation there. But now we can add it later. So this is by lakh. Wages. Wages. Abhi amne calculate kiye. Cloth ke liye. Kitna hai? 5. 2 lakh 50,000. 7 lakh 50,000 and 15. Factory overhead. Put it on side. Factory overhead is 2 per unit. 2 per unit. Kaha calculate ki amne 2 per unit? Working note 3. 2 per unit. Okay. And 50,000 units. So, factory over it is 1 lakh. What is factory cost? 8 lakh 50,000. Is my speed fine? This is the way pen should flow in exam. Ek ke baad ek. Administrative over it is 50% of the 50% of factory overhead. So, 50,000 per unit will be 1. You can put an arrow mark like this. So, this is 9 lakh and this is 18. Done? Are you all with me? 
Nine lakh is the cost of production, eighteen per unit, and this is of fifty thousand units produced. Out of that, five thousand units are in stock. वो भी eighteen पे ही होंगे. When production is eighteen per unit, whatever is in stock will also be eighteen per unit. So that comes to ninety thousand. Now you can pick up the speed in exam and say meeting. Here put a star mark. किसी को कोई dash dash पे doubt है. Whatever is produced is at eighteen. Whatever is in stock is at eighteen. Whatever is sold forty five thousand that is also at eighteen. And selling overhead is given per unit. I am reading for all of you. Selling overhead is two per unit. Two for number of units sold, not number of units produced. That comes to ninety thousand. Nine lakh twenty. Same forty five thousand units. And now you know the selling price printed in the question is forty five rupees. Me, you are selling this. Mask. So, how much is your profit? Fifteen. Can you complete now all balancing figure? Fifteen into forty-five thousand. How much time we took with so much of explanation and working note? We took fifteen minutes. Can you complete it in eight minutes with lot of confidence in exam? Genuine wala confidence. Mere saath saath karna hai. This is working batch. If you say, ma'am, instead of one more day, can you take labor chapter, material chapter, or message me, and I'll do it for all of you. Oh yeah, cost sheet. See, they are not going to ask you jumbo problems for ten months. This time also, they didn't ask you the uh, cost sheet for disposable mask. But we use that data, and here the pumping heart of this problem is working note one and two. I want everyone to put a message. Is this clear or not? Preferably use the laptop, no? If you have possibly, so that you all can take part in chat. Some of the students are responding. Some are not. This is online live class. I'm missing seeing all your facial expressions. इतने सालों से पढ़ा रहे ना तो स्क्रीन चलती है फेस पे पता चल जाता है किसको समझ में आया किसको doubt है कौन class में बैठा है कौन class के बाहर है Nice question, November twenty two exam. <clears throat> yeah, please take a screenshot now if you want. Again, I'll share the screen so that you have this in a folder in your gallery, and then whenever time permits, take a printout also. Whenever time permits, क्या बिल्कुल निकालना है सब क्वेश्चन इतने अच्छे हैं टीचिंग टैक्सीशन दैट इज लाइक माई फर्स्ट कोर्स सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑफकोर्स कॉस्टिंग बिकॉज इन माई ओन अकेडमी ऑल आई यूज टू टीच दिस कॉस्टिंग एंड डायरेक्ट टैक्स बोर्ड But you know what? Ki always I see the students like score eighty two, eighty seven, eighty five. These are the marks in costing because it's not how many problems you are doing in regular batch or this intensive practice batch. It's the concept covered and the quality of the problem. Okay, na? Chalo. So November twenty two is closing now, and let us take up the next one. Just wait for two minutes. और एक दो बहुत अच्छे प्रॉब्लम है वो करेंगे नवंबर ट्वेंटी टू के पहले मे ट्वेंटी टू मे ट्वेंटी टू एग्जाम पेपर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री बी मे ट्वेंटी टू तीन और वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन बट विथ सम Like head related items also asked again and again. Very simple problem. Just कहाँ क्या place करोगे वो decide कर लो. Parking of the places and I feel like as I told you they can ask you four marks this question again. Hmm?
May 22. Let us take up. I'm facing little trouble with this. So many screens opening up. It's I know it's not your problem. It's my problem to keep it all ready. Sab hai, lekin question number three B. Question number three B for May twenty two. Even when I'm opening up these papers, like this material chapter also comes in the question number one only compulsory material labor, marginal costing. Hmm? It's the same level of the problems for CACMA where you like process also, you don't have the problems with profit that I'll say, don't worry, I'll take care of that. Simultaneous equation problems. Well, time is going and opening and closing these problems. Page number, question number 3B, page number 15. Okay, let us do one more very nice problem in the next 10 minutes very quickly on screen now. Look at this screen and we have this problem. May 22. Can you see on screen? May 22, question number 3B. Write down in your notebook and take a screenshot if you don't have right now. Following is the data available from books and records. Very simple problem, but you have all the details. Kisko kahan le jana hai? Opening stock of raw material. Raw material purchased. Okay. Wage, manufacturing wages. Hmm? Manufacturing wages are nothing but direct labor. Hmm. Depreciation of plant and all will come in factory overhead. Expenses for quality control, as I said, after the works cost separately, these items are asked. Lease rent of the production assets. So factory related rent, depreciation, insurance, repairs, everything of the plant and machinery in factory overhead. Are you enjoying reading the problem and parking the things? You are standing in an event at a door. You are one of the coordinators. And whenever the pro pro that program starts, before that, they have asked you that if the parents are coming, make welcome and make them seated here. If the press people are coming, maha bithao. Jo prize wale hai students unko maha bithao. Aise hota hai na? Bas aapko hohi karna hai. Ye chapter. So enjoy doing that and don't skip cost sheet in your final exam. Okay? Right, Chalo. Hmm. Administrative overhead is related to the production. So we will take it after the works cost. Administrative overhead, wo research or quality control or wo sub expense ke saath lenge. Hmm. Pollution control and all this is very well a part of the factory overhead. Stock of raw material closing hai ye to primary packing. Primary packing bhi aapka upar hi aega. Factory works cost ke baad. R&D also. Packing for redistribution, selling overhead. Advertisement expenses are a part of selling overhead. Is my discussion clear? Or you want me to go a little more slow? Stock of finished goods is 200 units. Having a total cost of 28,000. All fine? Thank you. See, already this time you have opening finished goods also. And cost per unit or total cost is given. So we will take that. If not, then opening stock and closing stock both at the 
करंट कॉस्ट ठीक है एंटायर ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ द फिनिश गुड्स हैज बीन सोल्ड ड्यूरिंग द इयर so now all the cost are clear to you did you take a screenshot for this if you don't have this problem is a very nice problem may 22 question number 3b and now production during is 3000 units close already 3000 units you have uh, produced 200 units are there in stock so 3200 Four hundred are there closing stock. So how many units are sold? Two thousand eight hundred units. ठीक है, right? And देखो ये आगे अगर I started the ये सब तो this is all a part of the cost sheet only. And this is simple problem. I'll do one problem where we will solve it. The next one, like fill in the blanks. Calculate selling price if sales is made at a profit of twenty percent on sales. Take a pause. Make the equation and send me in the chat box. Deepthi, ma'am taught you this in the beginning today. Profit is twenty percent on sales. Twenty percent on sales. Bolo. आपने क्या equation बनाया? Unless you don't show it in the chat box, I'll not move. Profit is twenty percent on the sales. What equation you have made? Okay. Very good. All the others should also answer. Join with your actual name, huh? So that we know. Red me and all and all. ऐसे मत करो. Very good. Very good. Profit is twenty percent of sales. Can I take sales as hundred? Just pay percentage. Hai, usko hundred lena. Profit is twenty. Cost is eighty. That's what we have to do. Yes, yes, yes. Can we do this cost sheet? Is it easy? Kya naya kya hai? Two minute problem or figures se bahar aa jao. We are going to do all the variety. Now I did two way problem. Now this the next I will do is fill in the blanks to fill up. What is the new part in this problem? Hmm? The new part in this problem is parking all the expenses properly. Okay, right, chill. Let us prepare the cost sheet with this in the notebook and let us begin quickly. Yeah, tomorrow also at least half class I'll need no two three very good more problems are there. I'll be messaging you. If you can do it on your own, and then I will, to, of course, do it. All, all past four exams के पूरे paper अभी तो question paper कर रहे हैं. RTP के भी करेंगे questions. Two three RTPs are very good. One is already done in the study material. Now RTP sometimes from study material only they are copying. And yes, please remind me. Study material back side also questions are there. No question number one two three unsolved वाले. वो भी आप करो. We will check up that also. All right, here we go. May twenty two. Question number three B. Cost sheet we are making. Okay. Cost sheet we are making. do it with me make the format and then we will do the working notes also first thoda acha jagah chhodte jana for all the expenses okay so this time the problem starts with opening stock of raw material purchases and all so we will also start with write down it's given 
opening stock of raw material i'm writing here given so that you know ki okay this is just printed the first thing in the question 10000 should you make the per unit if needed we will make it not required here then we can skip because too many expenses are there we can skip kab banana hai kab skip karna hai jab aapko pura per unit detail puchhenge waise here everything is per unit no cloth mask can also be had to write here it's already given total acha after opening stock of raw material in the question they have given raw material purchased raw material purchased then we have closing stock of the raw material closing stock of the raw material 40000 raw material related no other expenses so what is the raw material or the direct material consumed pick up your calculators karo 280 plus 10000 give the answer in the chat box 2 lakh 50000 direct material consumed after that we will add direct wages wages are given as manufacturing wages so manufacturing wages is nothing but direct labor new name manufacturing wages or direct labor how much is it given it's printed manufacturing wages or direct material is 70000 so we get the prime cost 320000 now to that after that immediately they have given depreciation on plant so can we add here factory overhead and there i am writing depreciation on plant and machinery it's given to you 15000 next given expenses for quality control i'm doing it in the sequence of the problem i can do routine mein so leave two three lines for factory overhead more whatever will come and can we have works cost yes we will have works cost and there is no opening work in progress and closing work in progress and all so after works cost can we have all those expenses quality control sale of the scrap primary packing research and development administrative overhead all that theek hai so that we will leave around four line space for that and we will get the cost of production i am doing it exactly the same way your mindset should work in final exam otherwise I, i can explain and i can go on like this so how many times you will search the figure iske niche ka figure to jo ek put your one hand on the question paper and go on writing it I, if your first item is selling over it park it in the selling over it save your time you have to complete the paper in 3 hours am i giving you exactly the mindset of the final exam taking care of all the pitfalls once you get cost of production yes definitely we have this time opening stock of finished goods wo to humne problem read karte time dekh liya minus the closing stock of the finished goods theek hai right now we have the cost of goods sold okay in the cost of the goods sold we will add whatever two three types of selling expenses are there ha huh? selling overhead ke jo bhi do teen type honge wo hum le lenge you know when you do it like this you will do it faster in the exam i'm feeling as if i'm doing accounts ka cash flow statement aise hi karte hai na so now what you get is cost 
of sales to that you add profit you get the sales and then you can get the selling price also take your time and tell me ma'am aise tukde tukde mein karna theek hai kya bilkul theek hai poocho because i don't want you to read the problem and search search how many times so read the problem and go on parking it ma'am last problem you did working note because that was the criteria in this intensive practice only more than 300 illustrations we will touch orally written so you will get that mindset ki which problem you have to start where okay now i'm going on reading the problem first thing is opening stock of raw material dal diya purchases direct labor we have put depreciation on plant as a part of factory audit after that directly given as quality control quality control cost will come after works cost i told you know now they are added quality control expenses after the works cost <clears throat> then you have the rent of the production asset so factory related rent of production matlab plant machinery जो भी प्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड असेट है उसका रेंट है हाउ मच इट इज टेन थाउजेंड दिस कुड बी लीज रेंट दिस कुड बी एनीथिंग एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ओवरहेड आई टोल्ड यू वंस अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग इफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ओवरहेड इज रिलेटेड टू प्रोडक्शन टेक इट अब ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ओवरहेड इज जनरल टेक इट बिलो एज द सेलिंग ओवरहेड so this is administrative overhead production 15000 next is pollution control and related that's inside the factory so factory overhead ka part hai pollution control related asset or expense or whatever it is 1000 then i have primary packing primary packing will come again at the factory only works cost ke baad add primary packing ma'am secondary packing kaha aayega selling overhead mein aayega primary packing 8000 r&d process related here only r and d research and development expense 5000 packing cost for redistribution secondary selling overhead me packing cost of redistribution is my speed fine packing cost of redistribution kitna 1500 advertisement is always a selling expense here ठीक है, राइट नाउ स्टॉक ऑफ द फिनिश गुड्स ओपनिंग स्टॉक ओपनिंग स्टॉक इज 200, एंड दिस टाइम दे हैव गिवन यू द कॉस्ट इफ दे हैव गिवन यू द कॉस्ट आई डोंट नीड द पर यूनिट राइट सो ओपनिंग स्टॉक इज गिवन एंटायर फिनिश गुड्स हैज बीन opening stock is sold during the year that is the right and then production was 3000 units this is on the top of the sheet i'll write 3000 units are produced closing stock is 400 units that's printed given and production is 3000 are you writing where you have to write is clear chalo now we'll complete and last i am reading profit is 20% on sales so cost is 80 you know when i write this this is my question paper i am putting aside ho gaya read the question paper in such a way that you are saving your time yes very active thank you so much for the response now i want you to do the calculations also and put in the chat box one by one 
have we finished with the factory overhead 25 and 26000 346000 you know what could more come in the quality control and all this isme aur kya aa sakta tha minus the sale of scrap just to making you learn am i really making you learn the things then i'm happy to do that sale of scrap aayega to kahan lenge yahan pe aise alag se likhna hai to likh lo sale of scrap kahan minus hota hai ma'am yahan just to remember write it separately so that you are not confused when i using this all for revision one day before exam all format you should see and some important illustrations like this 378000 units you have produced for 3000 so 400 units ka kitna 378000 uh, rupees mein 3000 units are produced i want you all to write it here or you want to make working note bana lo cost of production Three lakh seventy-eight thousand for three thousand units. How many units are in stock? Four hundred. Uska kitna? So if you divide, it's a very simple logic. Three lakh seventy-eight thousand divided by three thousand, you will get the per unit cost. Three seventy-eight is the cost. To produce per unit. It is coming to how much? 3,78,000 divided by 3,000. One twenty six. multiplied by 400 50,400 50,400 is your closing stock of finished goods Liklo working take your time ask me any doubt if you have 378,000 rupees may 3,000 units are produced and 400 units are in stock so how much it is 50,400 and opening stock valuation they have given. If not, ma'am, for 200 units also, can we value it at current cost 126? Yes. If not given, you can. Now, how many units are sold? Cost of the goods sold? 3,800. 378 plus... 28,000 minus 50,400. 355, 600. Plus 1500. Plus 1300. 358, 400. 358, 400. Are we doing it correct? Now, 3,58,400 is the cost 80% on sales. Is the cost 20% on sales. So, 80 is this much. So, 20 is kitna 100. Can you cross multiply? 3,58,400 into 20 by 80. Those who want to write. 3,58,400 into 20 by 80. One fourth. 89,600 is the profit. 89,600 plus 358,400. So that comes to 4 lakh 48,000. And they have asked you selling price. Selling price is equal to 4 lakh. <clears throat> yes. 4 lakh 48,000. Mein how many units you have sold? 
correct Three fifty-eight, four hundred. One second, I do students. I just now told you profit is twenty percent on sales. Selling price of se kam to nahi aana chahiye selling price. Cost is only one twenty somewhere. We are doing the mistake. Three thousand. Yes, 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 yes. Silly mistake. Silly mistake. प्रोफेशनल एग्जाम्स में कोई जगह नहीं है इसीलिए मिस्टेक के लिए चेंज इट चेंज इट टू थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड यूनिट्स आर सोल्ड वो तो प्रोड्यूस था थ्री थाउजेंड यूनिट्स वर्किंग नोट वन इज क्लियर सो नाउ दिस यू हैव टू डिवाइड विद टू थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड कैलकुलेशन इज करेक्ट ओनली दैट पर यूनिट वेंट रॉन्ग Yes, one sixty for you. You know, if a teacher does mistake, that also should be benefit for you. When I was dividing this with three thousand units, I was getting something less than one twenty six. When cost is one twenty six, I am adding my profit. How I can show? So exam me, गलती भी करो तीन घंटे में तो खुद से realize होना चाहिए ना. There is no balance sheet here. Correct or not? <clears throat> right. So we have done all the concepts. We have done two to three problems orally, and we have done problems with solving. Okay. More two problems we will do it in solving, especially the RTPs of. Uh, May twenty three for the November twenty two May twenty two these all are having very nice questions so we will do all that hmm? I'll see surely if I can make a all put together in one I can make pura koshit ka question papers RTPs MTPs all together like this if I can I'll surely compile and give you okay now before. Before we close, one second, dear students. As we said, every time we will revise the one second, dear students. Booster notes. I want to share with all of you. Yes, theory questions also for every chapter we will be discussing because they are asked repeatedly in the exam. So you should know all these pointers also, है ना? Yes. Yeah, can you see this? These are the booster notes for cost sheet. This I want you to take down in your notebook. एक तो मैंने आपको क्या लिखाया format. I took more than forty five minutes to do the format, and now I want you all to take down this. Take a screenshot and write this in your notebook. पहले समझ लेते हैं. Factory overhead and administrative overhead are charged for number of units produced. But selling overhead is charged for number of units sold. A B K M N. Factory overhead and admin overhead related to production for four thousand units produced. 
but selling over it only for 3600 units sold per unit raw material closing stock is valued at cost of the purchase work in progress is valued at factory cost factory cost ke niche hi aata hai opening closing work in progress and finished goods stock is valued at cost of production while writing opening finished goods and closing finished goods per unit column will be nil dear students is this clear to all of you wo kyun nil hai clear hai aap sabko right on gst if any point is not clear ask me to repeat is this point fourth point clear or not per unit the same hi rehta na whatever is produced it is at 126 so whatever is sold is also at 126 raw material consumed is opening stock of raw material purchase carriage invert freight all minus closing stock and gst on purchase if input credit is available don't add it to the purchases now in sales, if you add closing stock minus opening stock, you will get number of units produced if it is missing. Or in opening stock, if you add number of units, a big problem kiya. Opening stock 200 units were there. Huh? Just now we did this. No opening stock 200 units were there. Number of units produced was like uh, 3000. So 3200. Usme se 400 closing tha. So 2800 units are sold. Fixed overhead is always constant in total. Fixed overhead is always constant in total. Theke? Right. Variable overhead is constant per unit. Semi-variable overhead, you have to separate in fixed and variable. I have already made a video of that. Link, I will share it. Okay? Right. To segregate semi-variable overhead, how will you do? If you want to segregate semi-variable overhead, how will you do? Okay? In semi-variable overhead, there is an element of variable overhead also fixed. So, change in the semi-variable overhead is only because of the variable part. So change in the semi-variable overhead divide by change in the number of units will give you variable cost per unit. Is this clear to all of you? This in detail is covered in the first chapter also and I will show you. Percentage pe bhi nikal sakte hain, kaise hum batayenge aapko. Administrative expenses, if they are general charge it in selling overhead, if they are related to factory, charge it there. Okay? Right. Now, sometimes if the cost is increasing, say cost was 100, profit was 20. It's a Simultaneous equation kabhi kabhi poochte hain. Selling price is 120. Ab cost bad gaya. Is bar na hamara cost 110 ho gaya. Profit I want same. Cost is increased. On increased cost I want same profit, 20. So, what will be my selling price? 130. Are you getting what I am teaching? Core costing concept I am teaching. Take a pause. Ma'am, ye to GK. To GK is saying. Cost 100 se 110 ho gaya. Abhi bhi, agar mujhe profit margin same rakhna hai. 20%. To yaan se 22. So, I will have to sell this in 132. Are you all getting or not? Nay, nay, ma'am. Mehenga bhi ho jaye to. Selling price to 120 rakhana. Cost is increased. Selling price to same rakhana. To fir profit margin will reduce. Profit margin will come down. Once again. Cost, profit, selling price. You want to keep the same selling price? Cost has increased. Profit will come down. Cost is increased. Profit you want same. 20%. 22. This is 20%, not 22. So selling price ko bada do. These are the logics which will help you to solve some of the problem. And sale of the scrap and abnormal units and all, they are deducted from the factory cost. This is from my side, more of material and all the booster notes I'll give. But did you get a gist of this? Can you take a screenshot or a picture and write it? Ye 10, 12, 14 point likhne ke liye 10 minute bhi nahi lagega. But it will fit into your mind and you don't know 
if you will use these two equations in budgeting, job costing, joint product, by product, kahin bhi use ho gai? knowledge. Taken? Right. And now before we close, as you have trusted me and joined for this intensive practice batch, Sarthi, if you like the way we are learning, core concepts, formats, pitfalls, and written problems and all the some oral problems. Kal RTP ke or problem written karenge. After half class, I'll start with the next topic. Then do share this with more of your friends and let me help this conceptual and confidential all knowledge reach everywhere. Huh? Is your confidence building over? Now to build consistency muscle, one thing. Let us go into 21 days challenge of building up good character habits which are already there in us. But somewhere if they have gone back or you want to recollect, do it. This has worked wonderful for me, taught to me by my mentors I am sharing with you. Daily one concept will be told to you in just one minute. And today's concept is I take 100% responsibility for myself. Can you say this to yourself? See, you need a lot of mindset also for professional exam. Hard work is there, smart work is there, and your degree and your knowledge is 50%. When you go into the market in job, in practice, in teaching, whatever, you need a different kind and higher level of the mindset, energy level focus. So that comes by consistently building your confidence muscle. So today's challenge is to say yourself again and again, believe it, feel it, write it boldly and keep it in your desk in front. I take 100% responsibility for myself. The day you stop blaming, na, hamare time mein ye portion change hona tha, material hua, ye hua, wo hua. Then let me tell you in the tough COVID times also, when May exam was in July 21, that time also students have cleared exam and done. And they were like you, like me, average student, but with a great mindset. So it's all here. It's mindset, how you will grow in your professional field. So take complete responsibility for yourself, whether it is at your family, at your home, in your institute, with your classes, with your neighbors, with your surrounding, and take complete responsibility of your emotions, of your actions, of your decisions, whatever. If you take your responsibility of decision, no, quickly you'll change. No, no, ma'am, I thought that there are group eight subjects, so I'll give four subjects. Right? Right? In your family also, if you want to say something, not as a complaint, say it with a good suggestion. He is ko aise kar sakte, solution oriented complaint. I am also not an expert in all this. I am also working and sometimes we all slide back. But can we strive to be very good mindset ke saath jam hum headstrong confidence jate na? Ek ghante pehle exam center pe khade rahoge, last moment gyan dena nahi, lena nahi. Promise so when you stand there, no, the mindset will be very confident. If you're a student who want to revise till last moment, do it. If you're a student who exam ke pehle kuch nahi padna, mat pad. If you are a student who can sit at 11 o'clock in the night and study at 4 o'clock peaceful, do that. If you are a student who likes to sleep at 10 o'clock, but morning sade thing char baje utha do hum pad lenge. And literally, kabhi ek bar utke dekho, itna peace or itna silence and that energy is different. Raat mein padna hai, padho din mein. There are no benchmarks, dear students. Work hard. Costing padho, saath mein your second subject, law accounts, what you have decided, do it now. Next month, we are doing direct taxes like this. Best of the gist, concept and quality good problems we will do. Okay? Any suggestions from you all? is most welcome. If I don't pick up your phone because it's dinner time now, put me a voice note. Thank you so much. See you all sharp at 5.30 tomorrow to continue cost sheet. And any doubts are there, click the picture, send it in the challenges group. Okay. Right. That's all for today. Thank you so much, dear students. Right. Yes. Booster notes, I'll be making all PDF and giving it to you at the end. I didn't say it, but I'm talking about it. There are also questions in every chapter, mein. especially material labor over it. That also we will discuss. 
बट अभी तो लिखना है आपको राइट ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू